What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Daddy Goose from Crimson Black Game. If you guys are from Crimson Black Game, you decide to come on over and check out my solo music reaction channel. Thank you guys so much for checking the channel today. Or if you guys from the web, you decide to click on this fucking kick ass thumbnail. Thank you guys so much for checking on the channel today. Or if you guys subscribe, part of the 1.76. One, did I say one? <laughs> I meant two. 2.76 thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's episode because today. We've been blessed with something. Eminence released their entire album uh, onto their onto YouTube, I guess. I was going to say channel. But I didn't know what to say there. But what I'm trying to say is Eminence released their album, uh, the rest of the songs, and uh, we're going to start doing some reactions to them. Turns out there are six more songs we have to react to. Now, these aren't singles. These are now what I like to call album fillers. Uh, but I'm still extremely excited to check them out. Uh, the problem is, I don't know where it starts. I don't know if it starts with Come What May, or if it starts at Eminence Lenore. Um, so I'm going to hope it starts at Eminence Come What May. And that's where we're going to start. Hopefully that's not the end, because I'm going to commit to this route and go up the list that way. Obviously, we've already reacted to Desolation. Death by a Thousand Cuts, Continuum, Heaven Shall Burn, Come Our Hell wa High Water, and The Black. So if you guys want to go check out those ones, those were the singles. They will be up on my channel somewhere. So if you want to go watch my reactions to those, go check some of those out. But like I said, we have some filler songs to check out. Don't know which one to start with. So we're starting with Come What May. Hopefully that's the start of the album. I have no idea. But with that being said, let's get on to it. All right, Eminence, come what may. I'm super excited. It's a, definitely a longer song, 6 minutes and 13 seconds. But one thing I'm extra excited about compared to most Eminence days is... Uh, what well, fucking words here. We'll get there. Wait for it. Uh, is the other Eminence songs were just singles. So we only got one song. Versus today, we get to do a proper double reaction today. That means two brand new Eminence songs for me today. Holy shit. I'm so excited. Uh, with that being said, oh, oh, actually, on top of that, too, I want to add one more note. I'm trying not to overhype myself today in the sense of every song we've done so far on the singles have been some of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. They have been bangers after bangers after bangers. And there's a thought in my head that's like, there's just no way Eminence can continue putting out these these high level bangers. So I'm trying to lower my, you know, my expectations in the sense of there's probably going to be one song I don't like, but I'm going to be honest. I don't know if Eminence has ever done that. So <laughs> I'm trying to lower my expectations, but it's not working because they're still quite high. Anyways, let's get on to it. Eminence, come what may. Once again, hopefully this is the starting song. Let's get it. We got a long one. Let's go. Very subtle orchestra in the back. Very nice. Imminence, quick pause because I want to point this out again. Imminence has gone to the next level on this album. The last album, Heaven and Hiding, was so good, but that that album is more typical metalcore, as Imminence would call themselves violin core. But this has amped it up to like a next level of heavy, this album. It's been dark, it's been heavy, it's been chonky. It's been more intricate with the amount of just shit they're ramming in there. And not only are they ramming a bunch of this stuff in there, but it's all like calculated. It sounds good. Nothing sounds 
anything that's in there sounds like it's supposed to be in there you know like sometimes i feel like bands just throw shit in there and there's too much happening because it doesn't line up with themselves if that makes sense but this is just like a lot going on but in such a beautiful way it's fantastic let's keep going just wanted to say that might get a big switch i don't know Sorry, I keep fucking up the rhythm. There's a lot of pausing and going, and I'm going to head bob to like the riff, and then it doesn't. I'm, Fuck. <laughs> Subtle beat swell. Perfect. Another pause here. This band is just, I, they, this band is causing me to stroke. What I'm trying to get out in words is that they just do, there's no, I know I'm biased in the sense of this is my favorite band. So I know I'm going to say things maybe I wouldn't typically say, um, because I, this is my favorite band, but they do a perfect job at subtle beat changes that aren't Jurassic at all, but if you really pay attention and listen, it's it's quite a big riff change, but they pull it off so smoothly, you can almost just not tell at all. And not only that, the emotion that goes into, you know, his singing style is so heavy, and his singing goes along with the riffs perfectly. On top of that, when the intense part of the story goes up, the beat goes up, but when you're going to a slower part of the song, it's like the beat slows down, but still manages to somehow stay heavy without slowing the whole vibe down. I don't know how they do it or if what I just said makes sense, but to me it makes perfect sense. <laughs> but it is just, it's perfect. They do such a good job with their songs, and I, I think that's why they're my favorite. Plus, who else is throwing in violin and orchestra? Like, that's just so cool. Uh, let's keep going. We're only just over half. Got lots of song left. I have no idea which direction they're taking this. But this album is just crazy jam-packed with swaps. It, it's, it's a good album. I can't wait to hear the whole thing. Another slow part. Big switch. I don't know. But when there's a long song like this, a pause like this is really nice. Long pause. Oh, okay. 
This is cool. Oh, if they pull this off right, this could be good. I'm listening, and I still don't know what direction this is going. Here we go, make or break moment here. the goosebumps okay wow goosebumps on my face i wish i had just such an intense camera that i could just you could just see it. it it's crazy um wow imminence come what may i have two opinions on this and i'm excited because now we're kind of listening to the album in more of a correct way not just singles that are scattered around the album as a song perspective just the song one off i like the whole song but once again, from a song perspective, just come what may. I wish it ended off really heavy again, even if it was for like 10 seconds, just a really hard, heavy hitter, kind of like Temptation. Remember at the end of Temptation, if you guys know the song, if not, make sure you look it up. Very good song. Some say it's their best. The end of Temptation, they, hit, they come back hard at the end, and it's not for very long. It's maybe 15, 20 seconds, maybe. I wish they did the same there, because it just would have made the whole song just really really epic instead you get this whole really good start and this slower violin part now i love that violin part from heaven and hiding i'm probably going to mess up the name because it's not english it's something like in this bogzerod or something like that i probably mess it up but it's literally just a, a very slow violin song with some vocals that part reminded me of that and i slept on that violin song it's very very good so i actually really like that part too but because it's a part of this heavy song, too, I kind of wish they went heavier at the end. Now, long talk. We're, we're, we're in it for a long talk here. Um, I haven't done an episode like this in a while. Now, from an album perspective, now that we're going to the next song, it's slowing down is so cool. Because I'm assuming the intro of the next song is going to be amazing. And I'm picturing putting the CD in my car and listening to the end of this song and it kicking into the next song. In an album term, it is so so cool so perfect i don't even know the riff of the next song but it's i could just picture it already and it's amazing so from an album perspective love the ending love the slowdown it's amazing from a single song perspective i wish they went heavier at the end if that makes sense if you agree with me leave a comment down below and if you don't agree with me feel free to give me shit in the comment as well <laughs> um but this is also not a single, and it is quote-unquote a filler. It's the intro song. And so, like I said, it's not really meant to be a... It's not a single, right? So it does fill into the album more, which I totally understand, right? But I'm here to rank songs by themselves, not what they do for the album. Songs by themselves. At least you guys know where I'm at now. 
So zero out of a hundred, still a very good song. Not their best on the album, but very good. It's so easy. Just close your eyes and just feel the story and just, it's very well done. Um, zero out of a hundred. We're going to put this at about a, maybe an 82.5. Don't quite think I'm going to put up to an A3, but very, very good song. It's definitely not a bad song by all means. Like I said, I'm not skipping this when I get the album. I'm going to listen to it. With that being said, though, it's been a very long video. So let's go on to the next reaction and get that one done, too. Let's get it. Okay, up next, we have a French song. I feel like it's not French, though, because I don't think Imminence is French. I'm pretty sure they're not, but this looks French to me. I'm probably wrong. You can leave a comment down below and, you know, tell me what language it really is. But I'm about to butcher this one. We got Eminence, Lapel du Vide, um, or Divide, Divide, Lapel Divide. I, that's probably wrong, but that's what we're going with. Um, so let's get on to it. However, I want to say one more thing because it just popped up on my, my mind now. If that song, if we accidentally come with May or whatever, if we actually started at the end of the album, also game changer because now the end of the album ends really slow, which is also extremely cool for the album. Like I said, not cool for a, a song by itself but for an album terms ending the song with a really slow start very actually very very cool the way they did that i have a feeling we fucked this up and it's probably the last song on the album you guys will let me know either way i'm gonna get the album and i'm gonna figure it out one way or another anyways let's keep going we're getting distracted let's get it imminent lapel divide This is different. Very dark. Very dark vibe. Okay. This one is way off different so far than everything else. Lily might just be this, I don't know. Any vocals?
wow, that, even though there was pretty much no lyrics, the buildup felt very cool. The only problem I have with that song is I don't want to see one, I don't want to say 100%, but I'm pretty sure that guaranteed that we genuinely started with the last song and went backwards. Um, because I feel like that would be a very weird song to have second on the album. Uh, and I know in Heaven and Hiding, they did something very similar at the end of the album, where they kind of have a very similar vibe, and then they go into the last song. Um, so, I feel like I really fucked that one up. And I'm probably going to get some hate for that, because a lot of you guys don't like it when I don't do my research. But, in my opinion, that's how you get pure fucking reaction. I didn't do any research. I go in completely raw. And I know that might have really messed up with the album thing, but... Here we are. That's too, that, honestly, that's typical Goose fashion, and whatever. Um, I don't even know if I can really rate that. It's not really a song. It's an interlude to go into the next song. Like I said, album filler. Um, I still liked it. I, it's just not really a song. I did like the build-up. Very cool ending. Uh, like I said, felt like a movie, kind of, with just the music alone. So, cool feeling. But just not really a song, obviously. Um... I'm probably people are probably not gonna like that I just said that this isn't a song but in my opinion I'm not counting this as a song uh, so I'm gonna put this at like it's still a cool sound very cool at the album very cool build up for the last song or the next song after this so very cool album wise once again very very good album wise love the build up but just for a song by itself probably not gonna listen to this just that um, so with that being said it's still pretty good sound. Like, it's not bad at all. Very pleasing to the ears. So I'll probably just put this at, like, a 70 flat. Um, and that's probably it. I honestly don't want to go lower because it is a very good sound. And it does contribute a lot to the album, I have a feeling. Uh, but just from a song, we'll just put it at 70. So that's kind of a weird place to put that. Uh, with that being said, though, uh, let's move on to today's outro. All right, Eminence back on the channel. No surprise, the song we listened to was just another banger. Uh, unfortunately, I look, I still don't know. I haven't looked it up yet. I will apologize if we accidentally chose the last song instead of the first song. But the way I looked at it, that was the first song they uploaded. So that hypothetically should be the first song on the album. And maybe it was the first song. And then that way I'm apologizing for no reason. But I'm reassuring reassuring insurance insurance my apology is insurance for if it is the last song uh but either way great song not mad at it at all can't wait to check out the other ones um so very very excited there's a couple i forget what the uh the one song's called but just the title alone i can already tell it's gonna be just an insane ride can't wait uh, unfortunately now that they come out with the whole album usually i just do imminence when they come out with new songs but now the whole album's out and i'm not gonna do imminence back to back to back so now I have to know that there's new Eminent songs out there, and I can't react to them right away. Now i got to wait a little longer to come back to them. So that kind of sucks. Um, however, that was Eminent today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the new album as much as I am. Um, leave some comments down below what you think about the album. Uh, if not, hope to see you in comments in the future or in past videos. Go check those out. I have 185 other music reactions out there. I've been uploading some shorts for you guys. If you're interested in those, go check those out. But on top of that, if you made it this far into the outro, you know what time it is. The secret outro word of the day, which means when I say this word, you can comment it down below. It just goes to show you've been watching all the way to the end of these outros. And it's fun because you might confuse a few people in the comments, but I'll know what you're trying to vote. And that's pretty cool. Um, secret outro word of the day. Let's do ghillie suit. Good luck spelling that because I don't even know how. Uh, but you comment ghillie suit, and, or at least attempt to spell it. And I'll know you're a real one for watching all the way to the end of these outros. I really do appreciate that. But with that being said, have a good night, everybody. Dad Goose out.